<laughs> John T. Davis scheduled to fight Lamar Roach December 14th or the 21st. I'm not sure. It's probably going to be one of those weekends. And uh, at this point, uh, many people are starting to believe that Javante Davis is a hype job. Okay. And a lot of people think that he's, tr- at the, to me, it looks like he's just trolling the boxing public. I think at this point, with these type of fights, uh, he hasn't fought anybody of any significance. I don't, when I mean significance, I don't mean, I don't mean anybody that has social media, uh, stardom. I'm not talking about these kind of guys. I'm talking about boxing significance, bro. And none of these dudes he's fought made any noise or they not, they, they, they haven't accomplished anything in the sport, really. Most of them. Or either they haven't accomplished anything or they're too small or they're not in his weight class. So those are, those are like, that's the Tank Davis MO right there. And he pulls you up like, you know, Hector Garcia. Leo Santa Cruz was too small. Uh, in my opinion, and uh, now he's doing it again with Lamont Roach, and he fights people of no significance, like like Rolando Romero, you know, uh, Frank Martin. Uh, that was somebody on his hit list. Frank Martin was ranked at least, but he was in his weight class. But he was also drained. And and, and my thing is, bro, Ryan Garcia was probably the most popular fighter he's fought, but he isn't anything of any significance in boxing either and then you gotta ask yourself you got all these other dudes in these divisions man you got 135 you got Ray Maritala Maritalia you got Delisandos you got Shakur Stevenson alright then you got some dudes at 140 I'm telling you right now they were better off never fighting at 140 because they can't run to that excuse anymore they never could first of all they can't use that excuse that he don't want to fight at 140. And he fought at 140 already. I don't want to hear this crap about he didn't like the weight, how it felt, and all that stuff. Cut it out, man. He's going to make his whole career out of 135. He might have... I mean, if that's the case, if he's never going to fight at 140 again, we might as well not be surprised on, on the type of fights that we're going to get from this dude anymore. He's pushing 30 years old. 135... Is is it has some fighters there, but it's not really hitting like that. Everybody's going up to 140 and up, you know. So who is he going to really fight besides Shakur, Ray Maritaya, and Edward Delisano? There's really nobody else there to fight. So it's either he gonna be fight, he gonna be what you would call bum bashing the rest of his career, or he's gonna retire. You know what I mean? And, and at this point, I'm more leaning towards. He's just going to take these type of fights. He's going to start pulling dudes up to 135 because anybody's going to take that tank fight. They'll get knocked out and sacrifice themselves for a big bag, similar to what dude is doing for Canelo. It's the same thing. And he knows this. His team knows this. I'm starting. I don't get it, bro. I'm thinking, is this something about Tank Davis that they don't want us to know about? They trying. They don't want to, they don't want to get exposed. I'm, I'm puzzled by all of this. And I've said this a long time ago, and I think there's something that we don't know that they know, but they don't want to put him in there with certain dudes because they'll get exposed. And at this point, I think he's just trolling everybody. And he's like, look, I can do it because I can. So I'll fight who I want. I'll fight Lamar Roach. Shit. I'll fight Hector Garcia. Y'all ain't going to say nothing because y'all going to still pay for my fights. And I'm going to be protected until, my, until I decide to retire. You know, that's the way I'm seeing it now, bro. There's no other explanation for it, to be honest. But besides him blatantly putting his thumb in the boxing public's eye and blatantly trolling the boxing public. Because he know people going to get a reaction out of it. But he don't care because he's going to get a bag. Uh, Lamont Roach definitely don't care. You can't blame Lamont Roach for this because he's he's only doing what he's supposed to do, right? Uh, it, you know, in a way, um, you can kind of do. 
see, it's one of those things, you know, they dangle a carrot in these dudes' faces, and they know Tank is, is, is a money maker in boxing, so they, they go up there and they want to risk their their health for, for a paycheck. This is what's happening. While Lamar Rose can stay in his weight class and defend his title, you know, um, and go go for real legacy, these dudes get distracted by a bag and want to go up and get and sacrifice themselves for this for this dude. Him and Canelo, this is their specialty, bro. Dudes is willing to bend over and get get slept and knocked out for for uh, Canelo and Tank. And this is one of the reasons why uh, I wish Terrence Crawford would just stop chasing fucking Canelo. Fuck him. But if if the fight happens, I'm hearing now it's kind of you know that still could be on the table. That's cool, but don't seem thirsty to get a Canelo fight. Like you know what I'm saying? Like if Canelo want to go the other way. Don't chase him. Fuck him. He just gonna look like the coward. You know, he want to go that way. Then you define go another way and create and start and keep creating legacy. Just my thing. But at this point, yeah, Tank Davis is definitely um, he's trolling y'all. That's what he's doing. He's trolling us. Um, and he don't care about the sport, bro. You know. One minute he wanted to be undisputed at 135, and now he's fighting Lamar Roach. I mean, come on, he's trolling. Anyway, travel life boxing. Catch y'all the next one. Off this.